Hi there, happy hump day and welcome to Wednesday. Teams. When you think about a team, why does a team exist? Typically, teams are brought together because the logic is you can achieve more together than you can alone. Through collaboration, sharing of ideas, working together, you can progress more quickly towards whatever goal it is that you're seeking to achieve. Of course, the logic behind teams, the benefit of having a team and working in a team environment only exists if, as team members, there's clarity on why do we exist together? What's our vision? What's our purpose? What is it that we're going to achieve? What I've often seen is that clarity. The leader might have it. It might be crystal clear for the leader why the teams come together what it is that they're going to be working on together to achieve. And yet when you ask the team members, that clarity is missing. Could be gauzy and hazy, or it could be totally absent. So if you're a leader, it's really important to check in. Are the members in my team really clear on what it is that we're setting out to achieve? Is that vision clearly articulated? Is it something that the team is coming together collectively and buying into. You know, there are times where it's natural that that connection, that sense of purpose and the vision might be a little bit fuzzy. If you've just restructured, if you've got two teams that are coming together and working as now one team for the first time, it's natural that it might take a bit of time for some of that clarity to form. But if you've been working in a team for a really long time and that clarity is missing, then it's really important to spend time to figure that out. Why is it missing? Is it that there are conversations that hasn't been had? Is it that you as the leader haven't worked with the team to paint what that vision looks like, to ensure that there's clarity, not just on where it is that you wanna to get to, but why you need to get there, and what's the role that each person is playing in getting you to that goal? This starts with getting crystal clear on that vision. And the good thing, one, there's lots of ways you can do it, but the best part, you can have a lot of fun doing it. This doesn't need to be a boring activity where you just get in a room and have a meeting and you discuss ideas. This is where you can get really creative. And one of the best ways to get creative is to create your vision board. And how your vision board is that visual representation of your vision. You can create it in many different ways, but the key element is that there is creativity that sits underneath it. So it's not just words on a page. It's something that when the team looks at it, when you look at it, it inspires action. It evokes energy, emotion, connection. You can pull out craft work, paper, pens, anything that you need to creatively, creati I can't say that word, to creatively come together and develop your vision board. Now, look, you might be laughing at me and I'm sure you're laughing because I didn't quite get the words out correctly, but trust me, because I've done this with lots of people. It's a really great way to engender a sense of team and connection once you've created the vision board, it's something that can be displayed in your office if you're back working face to face, or it's something that you can turn into a visual element that is stored electronically, screensaver, whatever form that it is that you are able to use to help your team see that vision. So it's a constant reminder. This is who we are. This is what we stand for. And this is what we're setting out to achieve. You know, it was the respective author and academic Warren Bennis who once said, leadership is the capacity to translate vision into reality. You can't do that if your vision's not clear. So now might be some time to get a little bit of creative, pull out some colored pens and pencils, whatever it is that you need to use. Facilitate a conversation with your team, get actively involved so that you're gonna create a vision with your team that they all connect with. Take care, I'll see you next week.